we're talking about in fashion today in the closet. We're talking about the closet and never the pride and you know. And gloves. And gloves. Talking about gloves. So that's Courtney gloves. Love and I'm Scott Lips. Gloves. Right. gloves. When we first met, it blew me away that you actually knew way more about fashion than anyone I've ever met in my entire life, which was amazing because I know all these fashion people. But I was so. trained so early. I worked at Paramount Wardrobe Department in 1983. My job was to take all the dry rotted vintage clothes and throw them out, which of course I didn't. It's yeah. how I learned what year is what. So these are all vintage. This is antique. Okay. So this is the first one wow. I ever made. This is one of my old grungy slips from like my grungy days. And then I took these girls that can do ribbon art. This one has like what's called persimmetry. Persimmetry is antique trimmings. This is one of the first ones I made um, as well. I so we're in the process of getting the four last Czech ladies in Hollywood that do know how are to do this. Are we breaking like this? this? We're not no, breaking we're not. this. Um, this is, no. Okay, so this is a this 20s is dress. Not, uh, you see, this is a 20s dress. I take old piano shawls, machine made because they're they're a lot cheaper, and I cut the flowers out like this, and then put Victorian symmetry on it. You're doing like this actual. Labor. No, I cut it. You I cut, cut it. I cut it and make it cool. Life. And this is my tribute to Paul Perot. This is from the Lillian, Lillian and Dorothy Gish estate. Um, then these boyons, it's from about New York pre-income tax, so it's 1890, 1905, six. Is everything here antique? Yeah, so, so every single never, piece of this. Nothing that, on any this, of the dresses this, this is 1800s. What the hell do you do with piano shawls? How do you make a piano shawl into a dress? This is one of my answers. Look at this piece. This came from the Gish estate as well. Hmm. So we set that on top. This, this was one of my grungy things from, right. the, from the 90s. This is vintage. You I know, feel like was, I've seen you wear this before. So yeah, this, is, this was kind of a famous piece. This is an old Edwardian um, actually dress, and the bottom was dry rotted, and so I made it into a cute top. I love the I idea of like, you wearing this. of like school, like crazy school. Um, there's nothing much in my closet that's going to tell you much. But we just want, we just want to see what inspires you. This is Lottery Violet that you can only get in Paris. I was gonna oh my god, do you want to see a treasure? This is what Mark got Mark Jacobs inspired, and he sent them to me in Seattle, and I burned the whole collection because I was so terrified. This is a lot of shoes. No, right? or no, a lot of shoes. I got these shoes before they were voted the sexiest, love the ton those sexy shoes of last year. And these are um, 90s Prada. This is like her, like, um, Romeo and Juliet thing. Where would the oldest stuff be that you I don't have it here. I store okay. it. Okay, people so. steal it. You know, if I tell something someone, something was cursed, it's gone. I just like it because it's schooly. It's like school. I like, like, if you look at all my white blouses, I'm big on white school blouses. Schoolgirl. Schoolgirl. Just school, you know. It's like, like utilitarian. And yeah. I like Todd Lynn's suits for that. Erdem, um, Berardi, who I love. And yes, for the Hamptons, an Herve Legere bandage dress, damn right. it. So I'm wonder. big on a glove, okay? Big gloves. On a glove. Love gloves. Gloves. Yeah. I really like a little boudoir hat, yeah, which cool, is what so you yeah. wear the bed wow. toe. The gloves, yeah. And then look at this one. Damn. Wow. More chocolates. Wow. A uh, pewter. I'm really big on Westwood, even though my boob has popped out twice now. Mark so sorry, gave me those. Um, Baby blue. Um, that's the Queen. His last proper collection. I'm kind of a pumpkiny. Wow. Um, I didn't realize you had so many gloves. Um, oh no, I'm big on gloves. And it's you have to take very good care to like feel how soft those are. Yeah. And then wait, this is actually super special. I do want to show you this. I collect these. Um, this is from the Depression. Wow. Are and those what lollipops? They are, those are so no, cool. they're not lollipops. They're they what women like used in the Depression to put their powder on. You do this like this. I bought on eBay, and I'm not good. I usually do the buy it now. Um, for this, they have Porter. This is um, this is Ozzy Clark. This is one of Nicole Richie's dresses. Look at the print on that, and look at the way it's made. It's really nice. Before we leave here, I want to see the, if you know the one piece that you worn the most in this closet. The piece I've worn the most. Yeah, yeah, like I do. The exactly. Most famous exactly. Piece. In the last few years, there that Chloe Blast. This is it. Because it's utilitarian. <laughs> it goes with everything. So this is the most worn. And my Birkin. Piece. And my Birkin. And the Birkin. Mm -hmm.